All right, so here's a quick screenshot of what the application looks like. Uh, we are within Teams, and it's on the left-hand side. And we really uh, bring Workday to people in three different ways. So the first one is Workday dashboards. As an employee, you have access to a dashboard like my calendar to see your upcoming holidays and time off. As a manager, you get to see your team. So you can see them in a list as well as their time off, upcoming birthdays and anniversaries, just in case you're a manager who wants to be aware and then celebrate that. And then admins also get a, a panel where they can have some extra configuration of how Workday for Teams acts for their employees. We also have quick actions and approvals. So quick actions, if you can see the top of that screenshot, um, that allows users to just quickly take some simple and delightful experiences right from Teams. So they can start and take time off right within Teams. You don't have to go to Workday. They can look up coworkers. They can give feedback. Uh, and we have many more quick actions, which if you look here, so here's an example of an approval, uh, which a manager can get right within Teams, and it would tell them who's requesting the time off, um, who else has time off on their team, and they'll be able to approve it or deny it uh, right within Teams. Here are more examples of those quick actions, and a lot of these are backed by our Workday Assistant chatbot, which is, which is our natural language chatbot. So users have access to you know, use one of these quick actions to start a process and maybe finish it in Workday if it's a, a heavy process, or if it's light and simple, do it right within Teams. They can also use our chat to start a conversation if they need to. Um, for example, if you are in the chat, you can say, I just want to take a vacation, and we'll know that you're trying to request time off and you can start that process. So here is an example of a manager within Teams. Uh, as you can see on the left-hand side, they have Workday right available to them. Now, this environment is our development environment. Obviously, it would say Workday here for production customers. And Logan, our manager, you can see she has her calendar, which shows her holidays, her time off. She can also check her, her uh, team as well to see their time off, as well as birthdays and anniversaries. So let me click on that. Perfect. And you can see how Beth, Jacqueline, uh, don't have any upcoming events, but Maria does. She has her upcoming time off as well as her birthday next week. And for the visual person out there, like myself, um, you can see this information in a actual team calendar. So you can check to see, oh, okay, in September, here's who had time off. And then you can also go back and forth to different months to see, hey, there's Maria's time off as well as birthday. For the quick actions, and you know, here's where a lot of the people are, are spending their time, you can do things like give any time feedback, for example, which normally right now without Workday for Teams, you'd have to navigate to Workday. You'd have to think about what you want to say, navigate to Workday, authenticate, sign in. Instead, you can just, let's give it to Beth. Um, you can just do it right here. You can say, hey, this employee is being amazing. We just got off of a Teams meeting. I'm already in Teams. Let me give them some feedback. Or doing an incredible job. And I can send that. Um, and I'm done, right? Uh, whereas I'd have to be in Workday, I'd have to figure out how to do that, leave it, and then exit out, context switch back to Teams. Um, and if you heard, I just got a notification. So we're going to move from the quick actions to the chat. Um, and I'm actually going to scroll up. So first, you see that I was notified I gave feedback to Beth. and. Uh, based off of the settings, Beth was also then notified that she was given feedback and she can view that in Workday. But scrolling up a little bit, Beth also requested some time off. So Logan got that notification right within Teams and it provides that information about you know what days Beth is trying to take off, that Maria has that time off as well. And then like we viewed that visual calendar, you can do that right here as you're trying to take an action. So we try to bring those holistic insights to managers to help them make better decisions. Right, so I can improve that. All right, and uh, since that's been approved, I think you know one of the only thing else that I will call out is that not just the quick actions there, but depending on the uh, workday SKUs that customers have purchased, they have access to so many different things that they can do within Teams, from goals to workday learning. Uh, we really have a lot of information here. So for example, if you have Workday Learning, you can view your enrolled content. And you can use this quick action, or I could have just typed in the chat, hey, what's you know, what are my learnings? What's my content? And that'll bring back that information. Yeah.
So that's just a quick demo of the, the Workday for Teams app. We're noticing that people are finding a lot of value, especially in the quick actions that they can just take within Teams, as well as the approval. 